Hello friends, my name is Rishi Srivastava and I have been working as a software developer in investment banks since 2005. Uh, my experience has comprised from uh, from Lehman Brothers, Merrill Lynch, uh, and currently I'm working in one of the other banks in Hong Kong. So this through this series of uh, YouTube channel, I mean, I would uh, share my experience with you all. So as you can see in the Excel that I have provided, uh, there are like two type of projects which I would be covering in this YouTube channel. So I've already started the dynamic programming problems, the top 50 problems, uh, and I'm in the middle of it. So one, one type of projects would be just for data structures and algorithms. So I'll start with dynamic programming and then I have plans for backtracking 20 problems, three 35 problems, graphs, linked list, binary search, miscellaneous top 100 problems. And I will use the platforms such as uh, Lead Code, my favorite, Hacker Rank, Hacker Earth. There are many of them. Kicks for Kicks is very, for example, is very good. And uh, Coding Ninja and all. So interview bit. Yeah, there are many of them. So this, this type of projects would be solely focusing on the data structures and algorithms. And the other projects would be actually with uh, Java topics and the projects that uh, we will be covering using those concepts that we have learned. So first starting with, uh, once I'm done with standard programming, I will do like this approach, zigzag approach. I will do this first, then complete this, then do this like this. So for this project, I will cover like Java serialization and explain how to use this, how to efficiently use Google protobufs, protocol buffers, and Google RPC, which is gRPC. Second would be asynchronous programming in Java, completable futures and complete, complete uh, completion stage. Uh, just to um, highlight here is that com uh, asynchronous programming is different than concurrency. So I will cover that in that in this particular course. And then we'll proceed with Java network programming, where I will cover all the TCP, UDP, socket programming, uh, examples as well as http client and http server http client is newly introduced in java jdk 11 i will cover that and then i will use uh, mysql and jdbc i can use mysql or postgresql i will see that uh, once i proceed with here and also i will use java Swings. java Swings is many people say that it's outdated but just to let you know that these are still very good and powerful the intellij id the intellij id it's written in java Swings. Just for example, and once we are done with all these five concepts or five topics, then I will have our first capstone project. Capstone is just like a big project, which is a fix in Java. A fix is a protocol which is used in our algo trading or on any type of type of trading. And fix is a protocol which is used for communication between the exchange and the applications to send or receive orders or executions. Then once we are done with this, we will move to Apache Zookeeper, which is, I think, a very, very useful and very good uh, third-party library for uh, doing load balancing and auto healing and all. There are so many things that we'll cover here. And Apache Kafka is also becoming very popular these days as a distributed message system. And uh, various other features are available in Kafka. And MongoDB and Java, I will use MongoDB. Uh, I think MongoDB is also a very popular NoSQL database which is good to learn. And finally, we'll go with Disruptor. Disruptor is a LMAX exchange type uh, where it was introduced first. And it's one of the low latency uh, way how to deal with event uh, event and driven design programming. And the new one is Aeron. The 10th one is Aeron, which is uh, again a low latency uh, platform. You can say a framework. Uh, it's written by Martin Thompson, which is one of my favorite uh, authors or Java developers on, on this topic on low latency. Then we'll proceed to software caching. Software caching will cover all, all type of caches available uh, for very fast, efficient uh, memory lookup or, or the value lookup. Once we are done with these concepts, again, our next capstone project would be Exchange Simulator in Java, which is a very interesting and very, uh, very, very good project. I have developed Exchange Simulators in my previous banks, which is uh, very useful, which was very useful uh, for doing all type of testings for QA and all. Or load testing at all. Once we are done with this, then I'm, I have got some miscellaneous topic. As you can see here, uh, I haven't thought much about it yet. Uh, let me complete. Let's complete uh, this part first, and then we'll uh, go ahead with the miscellaneous topics that I have mentioned here. So this is all about uh, my YouTube channel, which I've created uh, as a part of my hobby and my passion uh, to learn 
Java programming, or not just Java, but just programming. Uh, I love Java programming. I like programming data structures and algorithms. And I hope that I can, through this channel, I can um, teach all these concepts in the most intuitive way possible.